My name is Salim al Haq. I'm a senior fellow at the International Institute for Environment and Development and also director of the International Center for Climate Change and Development based at the Independent University of Bangladesh. And I'm going to talk a little bit about the upcoming eighth international conference on community-based adaptation that's going to be held in Nepal from the 24th to the 30th of April. It's a seven-day long event in which the first three days people will be going out to the field in batches of about 20 to 25 and spending two nights and three days hosted by a local community looking at what they're doing to adapt to their conditions, particularly the vulnerability to climate change issues related to their adaptation activities. And then everybody will come to Nepal, to Kathmandu, to the capital, where we will have another four days of uh, sharing and uh, discussions. The theme for this conference is on financing local adaptation. And we have chosen Nepal for a particular, particularly relevant reason, which is that in Nepal, the government of Nepal has decided at a policy level to allocate 80% of the global funds that they receive for adaptation to climate change to the local level. And they have developed a very innovative local adaptation plan. Uh, it's called the LAPA, or Local Adaptation Plan of Action, uh, on a, that they implement at the very local level through the panchayats, which are the local uh, smallest units at the local level. So we want to highlight that practice and share it with uh, uh, the rest of the world. We're expecting roughly 300 people from all over the world. We have some uh, very important dignitaries coming. The, the conference itself on the morning of the 27th will be opened by the Prime Minister of Nepal. It will be addressed by the chair of the Green Climate Fund, Governor Salceda from Philippines, as well as the chair of the Adaptation Fund under the Framework Convention, Mamadou Honadia from Burkina Faso. We also have representatives, senior representatives from private sector finance, the Munich Refinance, the Rockefeller Foundation, and on the closing day, on the 30th of April, we will have the Executive Secretary of the UN Framework Convention on Climate Change, uh, Ms. Christiana Figueres, there as well. So we are also hoping to bring out this time, on the 30th of April morning, a Kathmandu declaration on financing local adaptation and we are already in the process of dra drafting that declaration which we'll discuss during the conference and finalize on the last day and release. Um, one final point for those of uh, you who may be interested in following it, uh, from the 27th onwards we will be uh, have some live webcasting of the opening session on the 27th and the closing session on the 30th. We, I will be doing a daily video log a vlog uh, on the proceedings of the each day. We will be interviewing some of the participants and video logging them and uploading them on the website. So quite a lot of material will be made available on the website. We're going to be using social media and Twitter. The uh, Twitter tag is hashtag CBA8. And we encourage all of you to register as VIPs, which in this case stands for Virtual Interactive Participants. You can register online at www.cba8.org and I hope you will register and follow the event in real time.